Alright, hey guys, um, so we're going to be changing the injectors out on a CAT C9 today. It's, got, it's the Huey model, the hydraulic electronic unit injector. Um, it's actually a pretty basic job, you only need a few basic tools to do it. Um, so basically, I've already removed the exhaust and everything because of the, in this application, it's in a Tamarock drill. So the exhaust comes out of the turbo and over here and it's all in the way. Taking all that off, um, basically just take the take the rocker cover off and then you're there. Um, <clears throat> so here's your injectors. Um, all you need to do or have is the Allen key little spanner for a bit of leverage on the allen key a small crowbar and a um, vacuum sucker thing to suck the oil and diesel out of the cylinders before you put the new injectors back in um, and we'll also be changing the Huey pump because when you change injectors you should change the Huey pump because it is possible that it's actually the Huey pump failing and putting filings into your injectors and that's what's causing the failing injector problem so we, we, we're just in the habit of changing the Huey pump and the injectors at the same time so we don't have any problems um, so first of all you just got to unclip the wiring off the other side <coughs> and get your allen key and here they're bolted down the allen key and then um, On there, bit of leverage, and crack it, and then go to the other side, do the same thing. See, that's soft that one because it, we've already cracked this side, you see. See, you know, there. <coughs> then just undo the bolts. Second bolt, and then you just get your crowbar. I know this sounds crude, but get your crowbar in under where the bolts go through. Like that. And, oh, they quite, they can be quite tight. So gonna be, it can be a bit tricky to get a good grip on it. But um, especially when you're holding a phone trying to record it. There you go, see that? See how it popped up? And then you just give it a, because it'll come up so far, and then you just got to give it an extra little little pop up. Reboot crowbar. And then gently, because it's got O rings and stuff on it, you just gently wriggle that up, and out it comes. And that's it, that's out. See, so, you know, because they have all the engine oil running through them and diesel, all that oil then runs down into the cylinder. So that's where we get our vacuum sucker and suck all that out. But I'll um, put this down. We've got to be real careful not to damage the tip on the end, um, especially if you want your um, cat rebate. All right, I'll come back to you soon. Right, so... um. In this case, we're actually pulling the injectors out of this old engine here. Um, these injectors were replaced about 800 hours ago, um, and then the cam decided to shit itself, so we're just going to swap these near new injectors into the other one. Um, so it is important to, whichever cylinder you take the injectors out of, if you know, if you're swapping from engine to engine like this, put it back in the same one so you take it out of cylinder one you've got to 
put it back in cylinder one on the other engine and then it's all um, it's all matched up with the computer and all that sort of stuff so um, <coughs> let's rip these ones out then we'll go and then I'll show you how to slide it back in um, on the other engine so just in case you missed it on the other engine I'll just show you again get your crowbar underneath where your bolts go in there and then just pull it back and it feels like you shouldn't but that's what you do pull it up the first pop and then just put it on top of that head bolt in there and just give it another little pull up like that and that gets it all the way out <coughs> and then you just pull it out just like that all right so now i'll go and take this over to the other engine and slide it back in and i'll show you how to get it back in nicely okay so before you go slotting the new injector in you've got to get a vacuum sucker you've got to poke it down the cylinder through the hole that the injector come out of the little bit of tip the injector tip goes in <coughs> As you can see, I'm struggling. Right, so it's in. We're going to suck all that oil out. You know, obviously, you're not going to get it all. But you can sort of get most of it. have a couple of goes at it now you see how much has come out of there it's, you know quite a bit let's push it out another go at it <coughs> Okay, so we've got pretty well most of it. You're not going to get it all out, as long as you get most of it so you don't end up hydrolocking the engine. <coughs> and, um, we can get our new injector. Make sure the O-rings are still intact, which these are all good. They, should, they shouldn't get damaged pulling them out, you know. And then you just slide it. Get into its hole sort of lined up, and then you push it down. Right. See? You can't push it all the way down, you probably can't. <coughs> you get your bolt back in. Now, when it's like that, you can only go like maybe just get the bolt started on a thread, so maybe you half a turn or something. <coughs> and get the other one and get that just started. <coughs> you know, so you need like, I don't know, whatever you please, two, maybe two full turns on each side and swap to the other side. You know, so then pulls the injector down into the hole. <coughs> so if you like, you put those bolts in a 
if you start them off too early, like too much too early, you won't get the other side of them. Alright, and then you just um once it's down tight, both sides. Sitting, but it's your own judgment. It's going to change the fuel injector, pretty basic, isn't it? So I'll go through, do the rest of them, and then once that's all done, I'll um, show you how to do the fuel pump. Alright, so here we are, putting the last one back in now. like that, hand on it, apply pressure and wriggle, and it'll pop down like that, then you fold in that side, fold in the other side, just get one of them just to start, like just like half a turn, half a thread, and then do the other one, otherwise the bolt won't reach. Once you get it, get one going, go back to the other one. Repeat the process and that'll just pull that injector right down to where it should be. home <clears throat> let's get your little spanner Put on there little nip up nice and tight there yeah. plug it back in and we're all done let's see how you change he Huey C9 injectors um, The other thing I did forget is if you're changing these with new ones, if you're putting new ones in, you've got to get that number off them, write that down and, and write down what um, what cylinder they come out of <coughs> or got went into because you'll have to get the cat man out to put those numbers into the computer to what cylinder it is. Um, if you want to, you don't have to. They'll still run without that. Um, but yeah, so make sure you write those numbers down and what cylinder. So whatever that number is, cylinder one. Whatever that number is, cylinder two, and so forth. And have that written down for your cat man. That's only if you're putting new ones in. Using secondhand ones like we are today, you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure they go back in the cylinders that they come out of on the other engine. All right.